Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we will be talking about everything within the Season 8 flight. So personally, the highlight of this whole Season 8 flight, in my opinion, is the fact that we're finally getting Halo Reach weapon skins and vehicle skins, and possibly even back accessories. So here it states that Season 8 customization content will be targeting Halo 3 and Halo Reach, which includes new armor, nameplates, visors, back accessories, weapon, and vehicle skins, and more. So we're finally getting skins for Reach. This is awesome. Unfortunately, we're not getting anything for Halo 2. I'm still holding up hope for that. You know, maybe next season we'll finally get Halo 2 weapon skins, vehicle skins, stuff like that, etc. Another highlight of this entire flight is the fact that Halo 3 ODST Firefight will be updated to be closer to Halo Reach's options of customization. So that means like having wave customization, being able to pick and choose what enemies you want to spawn on certain waves and stuff like that. And in fact, it also seems that we're going to be able to have Flood in Halo 3 ODST Firefight because they actually have a screenshot showing that they're fighting Flood. So we finally have some sort of Flood Firefight mode in Halo and I've always wanted this. This is so awesome. So I hope this makes it into the official launch of MCC Season 8. Moving on to some more juicy details, we also got a custom game browser for Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 3. They're going to be making overall improvements to the whole system of how it works, like the filters, search options. So we're going to finally be able to play some Halo 3 customs. It's going to be awesome, man. So I'm sure a lot of people already know about this, but we are getting view model offsets for all weapons across all the game. So we were able to experiment with this before a long time ago. I forgot which season it was. It was probably like season five, I think, six, four, maybe. It was quite some time ago. And it wasn't as good, and it was um, very clunky. It wasn't really working out for them, so I think they fixed it now. And I, they made some improvements to it, so let's see how that works out. We will be also getting new campaign collectibles in the Halo 3 campaign. Now, I'm actually interested. What kind of campaign collectibles are we going to be getting in Halo 3? That's, that's very interesting, and I think it's really cool that we're finally getting some kind of update to campaign. I did not see this coming. Speaking about campaign, we're also getting campaign customization for Halo CE and Halo 3. So this means we're going to be able to see our vehicle skins and our weapon skins. We will also be getting a new map for Halo 3 called Icebox. So this map is another Halo Online map and this is supposed to be a remake of the classic Halo 2 map, Turf. And this one is definitely a really good map. This isn't a, another edge or waterfall this one is literally just a turf remake and it looks so much better it reminds me a lot of new mombasa it's really cool it really is just like an updated halo 2 turf map i'll go ahead and throw up a bit of gameplay so you guys can kind of see how it looks this is from halo online though so yeah it's pretty awesome man so now that we've covered all the highlights of this season 8 flight i want to go ahead and touch on what i like to call the quality of life improvements or updates rather so I'll just go ahead and read off the list for these. Beginning with Halo Combat Evolved is seeing the return of the classic HUD with 4K support and toggle in settings. FileShare is now available for the PC platform with the ability to set trust levels for saving files and an option to report inappropriate <laughs> files. So if you dirty, dirty minded bastards out there making some spawn point art, man, I'm going to report you, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah, you can report inappropriate files. I think this one's pretty huge, but not big enough to be a highlight, I would say. But we're finally getting player reporting in-game, so you can actually report people in-game instead of going to their support site. They're adding accessibility features, which include improved subtitles, subtitle size, you know, the color, the shadow, and stuff like that. And they're also adding an all new color blindness option. So people who are colorblind, this is going to be a good update for you. Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary is going to be getting performance improvements in the campaign in the remastered visuals. So I'm not exactly sure what they mean by this. Does this mean 
I'm just going to guess. This might mean that the whole damn game will actually be more similar to like the original Halo. Instead of being all bright and ruining the atmosphere, maybe it'll actually be dark in certain areas. <laughs> I don't know. That's just my hopes. And we also got Steam account linking. It's now available on your pro player profile. To see your Steam friends and games. So that's another quality of life update. But yeah, guys, that's about everything in the MCC Season 8 flight. And they do mention that it could begin as soon as next week, if all goes well. Also, keep in mind that not everything in this list that they presented might not make it into the official launch of Season 8. They might run into, like problems and might have to postpone it to like the next season or stuff you know you know the drill we've had this happen before wow man i mean this is a massive update this is awesome i look forward to season eight flood firefight man i think that and finally being able to customize your weapon skins and stuff in Halo reach is going to be fun and definitely draw me back into mcc so i hope you guys enjoyed this little news update video kind of new to this i don't really do this kind of stuff but honestly, there's like nothing else going on in Halo, so I don't even know what to do at this point. So if you guys enjoyed this video, learned something new, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video. Let me know what you guys think about this Season 8 stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.